hello there. This is Diamond from Diamond Shine Soap. Guys, I'm so glad that you decided to join little old me in the studio today. Guys, we are doing something really cool, really awesome. You are going to be in for a beautiful surprise when you see what we are doing. Well, I guess you already know because you clicked on it. Well, anyway, look, guys. During the week, I'm going to tell you what I do. I talk to candle makers just like you. People who are, you, it may be a beginner, it may be advanced. It's people who are struggling. Or maybe you just can't get this wick thing down. You're just like, I just cannot understand this wick thing. What do I use? What do I do? And maybe you just want to know how do I get nice labels or how do I get a trademark? You know, I want to basically protect my business. I need insurance. You know, there are many things that we discussed. Back when I started, there was no diamond shine soap. There was nobody I could talk to. But if I did have a diamond shine soap, believe me, I wouldn't have spent all the money that I did. Like, if you look around, if I could just turn this camera around do a 360, you would be like, oh, yeah, you need a diamond shine soap. So, guys, it's 30 minutes. Um, I don't charge people a lot. You know, like I said, uh, I've seen people charge $300, you know, four, or $500, you know. And mine's is only just 50 bucks just to talk to me. And then we sit. We we basically go over, you know, it could be a vendor chat. I tell people where to get stuff from, where to get supplies from. Um, you know, fragrance, I sell it. So, of course, it's cheaper. You know, just all these different things we discuss during this chat. So, go ahead and book it. It's in the description box. Listen, this is an awesome candle. But before we get into this candle, I want to let you know, my friend, uh, Sabrina that does the pie kit she's getting ready to have a sale on the pie shells guys you do not want to miss this sale because listen we cannot get molds anymore I don't know if you guys looked up but the places where we used to go and buy our molds from they stopped selling them because they having a shortage so I mean that's really good to just go with her get your pie uh, get your pie mold stocked up you know your shells get everything stocked up for the winter and that way you'll have it and you can sell your sweet potato pies and and all of that kind of stuff and she does it does the color to the I mean when I say to the T she does it to the T I love it I'm actually getting ready to put in an order with her because I can't you know if you are going to order pie shells I just want to make this uh, declaration to you and let you know she just give her some time don't just go to her two days later thinking that they done she customized and personalized everything for you guys so you know just make sure you give her some time I don't know if you guys looked around but like if you tried to order molds online you know they pretty much giving people like a 30 day wait if you order like um or a flexi mold I seen they had a shortage and uh, they pulled their business down off of SD I believe it's not on SD no more so you got different people that's on there and they all have a wait you know one of my friends she's been waiting two months so you know if you are going to be ordering supplies now is the time to start ordering because listen things are sitting out at the sea as we speak there's not too many people bringing the stuff in off the boats and everything coming into the country there's a very little workers you know people are sick people are dying and it's just people who refuse to work so right now if you're going to try to get things for Christmas you know order your stuff for Christmas let's start doing stuff now you know I got to the point I was getting ready to sell some fragrances the other day because I have so much and I was like you know what let me just you know try to de-stash some of this stuff and I thought about it I said no by the way stuff is going I need to hold on to everything and the prices of soy is continuously going up so that's another thing if you want to make soy candles if you're 464 444 all them kind of soy uh, numbers if you're a fan of that now is the time to start ordering because it's getting ready to go up so guys look before I keep you know delaying this and delaying this I want to tell you your list of supplies you're going to need I'm using these cookie silicone molds, like the Oreo mold. You can go and basically go to Walmart like I showed you guys in that video I made a long time ago. I put it in the description box and you can order those cookies or you can get with lovely Sabrina. She do have those embeds or whatever. Um, you know, also I have, where's that mold? I have like this little orange mold thing. Uh, that's why I made the cream in the middle. Can't seem to locate that mold, but when I do <laughs> I don't even need to locate it I'll just put that in the description box as well guys look um, there's two videos I got the Oreo pen I got the strawberry shortcake pen um, I'm doing them back to back I'm uploading them back to back guys so this this same thing may be in the next video you might see me again just you know just make sure when you see me like you know you make sure you, you say what's up you know what I'm saying make sure okay guys so this is the strawberry shortcake crumble right here 
and we are going to make a candle don't talk about this i just used some old like i poured it in the pot i already had a purple candle in there and that's how this came out like that but we're gonna cover that completely up you ain't even gonna see none of that so don't be talking trash about me behind my back okay so i already got the piping tip guys i told you that we went from one video straight into this so i'm just gonna go ahead and take our piping tip and just squeeze out the excess from the last video I told you guys that I'm going to start splitting these videos up into two because you know I usually do like five candles at one time. So I'm just squeezing out the excess wax so I don't waste it. And I'm going to put some new wax in here because we're going to make this nice and pretty. And make sure you're covering all of the bottom up and everything. Okay. This is nice and pretty. Okay. I'm loving it. So I'm just going to pipe all the way across the top guys. And I am going to probably add like another layer on top of that because I want it to really look like a strawberry shortcake dessert pan. Okay, that is so nice. Okay, so let me add some more whipped inside my piping bag. Yes, this is so nice. I'm loving it like McDonald's. Oh my God. Or is that Burger King? I'm loving it. Mm, 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 mm. yes all right all right so i'm gonna move this to the side and i'm gonna go ahead and go into my lovely 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 whip topping that i have just kind of chilling and that i've been using more and more and more make a whole big batch at one time guys don't listen follow me on that for real because listen who got time to be making this stuff over and over and over every time you make a candle? You sitting down here waiting for it to solidify. Don't nobody got time for that. Not I, Reverend. You need to make sure you go ahead and make enough where though you don't have to do all of this foolishness, okay? Just just wasting time. Get, get, your, get your time back. Get your time back. Okay, so you just take a heat gun. Go around the sides like I teach y'all every time. Take a heat gun, go around the sides. This is the method that we are going to follow. You know? And I'm going to make another video how to make whip top in that way. Because I be having people just posting and I'm like, I need to make a video on that. Okay. Alright, so it's coming out pulling it off the sides that's why you need a hand mixer this is why you need a hand mixer for stuff like this because you're going to have to really go to work on my receipt okay all right now this is good but i want to make sure i got all of the clumps out because the last one kept getting stuck and when you got like little clumps in it, that's what will happen. Okay, so you just go ahead and just make sure you get it really good. Beat it up, okay? Beat it up. Just pretend it's your, nah, I ain't gonna say it's your baby daddy, but if you got a baby daddy, then pretend it's your baby daddy. If you don't, and it's your uh, mother-in-law, just pretend it's your mother-in-law and just go to work on it. Just that's what you gotta do. You gotta pretend it's your mother-in-law, okay? Alright. Because I know you don't like her. Alright, so this is good. This is nice and smooth. I'm gonna hit it with the five. Go up to the last setting. This is nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, nice and whip, 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 whip. And nay nay. Okay. Alright, so. I'm going to put this inside of the bag. We don't need a whole lot. You know, you see me getting carried away. That's why y'all should have said something. Y'all just let me do what I want to do. Y'all don't even be saying nothing, correcting me. All right. This is how much I'm going to put in the bag because we don't need a whole lot. I'm just use a little bit more. And this 464 is so beautiful, guys. I love 464. It is beautiful. It's so nice and fluffy. Now, take it and shake it. 
is fighting with me today, y'all. It's a fight because I already used this piping bag already, so it's just reused. So it want to fight now. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna push some of this out. Okay. Just to make sure nothing is jammed. There we go. That's good. That's perfect. Then I'm just gonna put it in here like that. Cause we're gonna do something really tricky with this candle. Stay tuned. We ain't just gonna do it like this. We're gonna make sure this pan look good. When you ship this out to sell this pan, your customer's gonna love you. Because they're gonna say she put so much into her candles, or he put so much into his candles. Okay, it's trying to get stuck, y'all. Y'all know what that piping tip be doing after a while. It gets stuck. I ain't got time to be fighting. See, it's trying to go to war and I just want peace. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to make sure I fill up this purple and everything. I don't want nobody to see that underneath. You know. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful, guys. And these is, this is one I'm going to make it a little bit higher up than the other ones. This one is going to be your candle that you're going to have to tell your customers if you make it this high up to use something underneath to, pro to protect their table or, you know, wherever they sitting it at, burning it. Okay? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lift, our, lift the wick up. Now that I had to lift the wick up, let's cover that little hole up. All right. And now we're going to add some crumble. Now, I told you guys that I made a video on how to make this because I don't want y'all to be asking, oh, how did you make that crumble? Y'all ain't about to wear me out with all them questions. I made it for y'all though because I love y'all that much. So, this is the crumble right here. So, we just going to go ahead and start putting that crumble on here. And this makes it beautiful. I don't know if y'all can see this the way I can see it. Yeah, you can. I'm looking at the camera. And this makes it so beautiful. Just drop that crumble on there freely. I need a little bit more pink. I need to see more pink. That's what I use. I use like a pink color. And I like it. I need to see it all on there like that. Okay, that's cute. All right. And that's how you do it. But I'm not done. Y'all know darn well I ain't going to be done. Y'all know, now y'all know I ain't about to leave this candle. Now y'all know we had to go on ahead and do the remix, right? It wouldn't be right if we didn't do the remix. Come on now. Let's go on and get R. Kelly out of jail so we can do the remix real quick and then take him back. All right, so we're going to use some strawberries. Yes, we're going to press some strawberries down in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I could do it like this. Make a little, oh Lord, it's stuck, but it's all right. There you go. Press it on in there. So yeah, that's what I want you to do. I want you to put a little bit of icing like it's just basically sitting around the strawberry. Mine's is stuck, so don't pay it no mind. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay, so I got to fix this because this ain't going to work. It's tearing up my candle. Ready to go off on this stuff. Sometimes it gets stuck if you leave it in a piping uh, bag for too long. So, and that's what's happening. I'm just leaving it in here too long and it, it'll get stuck. Okay. All right, so I put a little bit. It's still stuck, but it's not going to be seen, so it's fine. Okay. That's where the strawberry going, so it don't have to be perfect. Put you a strawberry right here. And, and I'm going to clean this up a little bit, too, as, as you know I will. Okay. I'm going to put me a little whip right there. Y'all, this stuff is getting on my nerves, this little piping tip. It's just stringy, ugly. Okay, but it don't even show. So, you put that right there. I'm going to add a little bit more crumbs. Okay. And because I wanted to have, I don't want it to go into the crumbs. I wanted to have like a white, you know, like a white look to it. Okay. 
Y'all see how it's playing me, right? But y'all know how it's supposed to look. Y'all know it's supposed to come out looking way better than that. But it's okay, because I'm putting the strawberry on top, so you can't really see it. Even if I made it cute, you wouldn't be able to see it. Because this really looks like a strawberry shortcake crumble. Okay? Alright, so in the middle, I want you to go ahead now. This is what you might have to fix. I'm not going to lie. You might have to fix it. If you're sitting here struggling like me with this piping bag, piping tip thing, you might have to fix it like right here because this is where you want it to be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and fix mine. Stick something in there. Fight with it. Rumble, rumble. All right, let's see how it works now. Okay. It's not as bad, but it's still bad. Okay. So, come on, get off. All right. Now, I'm going to just stick my one strawberry in the middle on top. So that's how we do it guys i hope you like it it is so cute to me that is different go ahead and get y'all better subscribe after this okay you better subscribe and stop playing all right see you guys later all right